question is from Jamil A144. Are massage guns good for recovery or a waste of money? You know, so I'm going to use... There, there aren't a lot of studies on mas massage they guns. They feel good. I know that much. But they, there are studies on massage. So I'm going to put them in the same category as massage. And they, they, they actually have studied massage to see how it affects uh, the body um, You know, post-exercise. Does it actually speed up recovery? Here's what they found. They found that massage does reduce the infl inflammatory markers that, are that, that tend to be produced from exercise. So can they speed up recovery? Yes, but here's the caveat. They might actually re reduce the muscle building signal that the exercise then sent. This is the catch-22 with things that speed up recovery. Things that reduce inflammation also simultaneously blunt the muscle building or adaptation signal because inflammation is what signals the body to adapt. So theoretically... Massage could benefit you or it could hurt you depending on where you're at with your training. If you're over the line, if you're training so hard that you're over the line of overtraining, then massage may bring you back to the point where now it's an optimal amount of inflammation. If it's not, if you're not at that line, it may bring down inflammation to the point where it actually reduces the signal uh, that your workout just sent. So it really does depend a lot. I don't have a ton of experience with massage guns, though. I don't know if you, do you guys, you guys use I mean, a lot of them? I they, mean, they fall in the same category as foam roll for me. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it, it, if it if it helps you get into um, a mobility move or get into a stretch, uh, there's value in it. Um, do I think that a majority of people need to invest in the 200 something? I think they're like two to four hundred dollars for some of these things. I know that some people have made some hacks where you put it on like a yeah, you just get a drill and like put yeah. like a, a different attachment on it. Yeah, mm. then you look like a weirdo, like with a sex toy <laughs> in the gym or whatever. Like that. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think I've seen those. Yeah, so <laughs> why are all the videos in slow mo? Have you seen that? Yeah. It's always like on some girl's butt and it's like, back, 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 yeah, back, yeah, yeah, great selling Anyways. point, right? Yeah, so I, I mean. If you've got the money to uh, have things like this, like, I mean, I, I, I don't own one. Okay. So let's just, I think that's important to know. You're right? married to one, isn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Your girl's a massage therapist. <laughs> She'd be offended, I would think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, she would be, actually. She gets really pissed when I use like massage tools at all because uh, she's got the magic hand. So, uh, yeah, you know, I if you got the money to have something like this and you're trying to work on your mobility and, and stretch more and do that, the thing that I always worry about with things like this, and, th and again, foam rolling is included in this, your work is not done there. All these tools, both those tools, foam rolling and these guns, give you temporary relief so that you then can do the work you need to do to change uh, the root cause of the issue. If you just do the Theragun to release some of the tension and then you go about your normal behaviors, you're not really doing anything. You're mm -hmm. just kind of putting a Band-Aid or putting a hole or a finger in the hole in the sinking boat. Like you've got to do something about what's causing the hip pain or causing the knee pain or causing the low back pain. Even though these guns give you the temporary relief or the foam roll gives you the temporary relief, doesn't mean that it's technically fixing the issue. All it's doing is giving you temporary relief. What you then need to do is address what got you into that position. So uh, I think it's a great tool. I think if you've got the money to have one in your bag it, and, it, and it promotes you doing more mobility and corrective work, fucking by all means, invest in one. Yeah. Uh, but it's not the answer, and nor do you need it in order to address the issues that you potentially have. Absolutely. I, I think it's a, like a novelty that's nice. You know, like you feel good from it. It's just like, I mean, it's nothing new. It's like those, those massage wands and chairs and attachments. Like we've had these yeah. from infomercials forever. Ever, like just trying to like sit there and feel like a massage, you know, something vibrating or, or, or like making not like like going up and down my back, like that feels great. But at the same time, it's just you know it's temporary. So you yeah. gotta look at it like that. Yeah, I mean, and what they do really is they it's kind of like hacking the the CNS, mm -hmm. right? It's, it sends a signal to the CNS. It's like those vibrating plates. You know, when you when you use those and you get into a stretch, and you can only go so far. Stand on a, a vibrating plate, and you'll find that you'll be able to go a little farther. It's literally confusing the CNS, and, and it, the CNS starts to relax, and it allow, and the muscles then allow for more range of motion. If you use them properly, uh, like what Adam was talking about, they can be very valuable. But if you just use them as band aids, they're not going to benefit you. They're just going to give you that temporary relief, um, and then when that temporary relief is gone, the root cause is still there. 
And the pro in fact, I could possibly even see how these tools may actually cause more problems for some people because it allows them to prolong the the the, the root problem even longer. No different than taking, you know, uh, uh, yeah, it masks the symptoms. Yeah, like taking a painkiller. You yeah. know, like if, if no, if, it's, this is a good point. Yeah. This is what happened to me with my IT. So I used to foam roll like like every day before I played basketball or do things like that. And because I noticed- You big, pushed it further and further. Yeah, I just kept, and I never addressed why I was having these issues until way later did I really dig into like what was going on because it would, it'd give me temporary relief. I'd then be able to play basketball and I'd be pain-free while I was playing basketball, but then I'd come right back. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, I can't, I, I, when I squat, my hip hurts, but if I foam roll, I can keep squatting. You're not figuring out why it hurts in the first place. You're just allowing yourself to squat more, and then what will end up happening is whatever was causing the problem in the first place, it's going to get worse. So it all depends on how you use these.